Hello everybody. At the end of every week I um, empty out the contents of my graveyard box, everything I just chuck in the box during the week of the repairs that have been done and I have a look at them occasionally. And uh, this is this week's toll from a JBL 515 500 series 510 515XT of the LF output transistors, the ones that drive the big 15 inch bass driver. And about halfway through the week I'd repaired one and it was testing um, and about two hours into the uh, test at 100 watts the light went off and it had failed and um, that was that and I thought well maybe I should investigate this so I stopped what I was doing really and spent about half a day looking into why these transistors blow up and I discovered that if the timing of the enable of the uh, digital output drive when you first switch on everything is discharged, all the capacitors, all the timing capacitors. You switch on, it does a switch, a clean switch on with a delayed start and everything settles down, the power supplies, rails are all there and uh, then click the uh, timer expires and the output transistors start switching. Now this is what I've changed this week of the uh, FQP17P06s and the FU FQP17N06s, complementary FETs in the output stage and they are arranged across the power supply in the power rails in complementary pairs and if you accidentally switch both on or don't drive one completely off and the other one turns on it just fries the transistors completely you get the uh, full 40 volts from the uh, power supply plus uh, dumped straight through a totem pole through these devices and it fries them instantly and uh, I, I think I discovered what causes it, and this is probably what's uh, plaguing 515s, is that if there's a power dip, the startup to the enable for the digital drive to these things is indeterminate. And if you catch it just right, you can blow them up. On the end of this cable here, on the end of here, is a GW Instec 1 kilowatt clean power supply and I can cycle the power up and down and you can put programs through from to you know start at whatever phase angle you like ramp up ramp down switch off uh, brownouts and everything else and I've set up a brownout which um, can destroy the output transistors so they are destroyed you think well maybe they're just running um, you know uh, they get tired, you know, they get overdriven, or you, but they invariably are working when you switch them off and then you turn them back on and they're not working. And it's a mains dip that's causing it and I need to, I have a quick look at the circuitry and worked out what was going on and um, I think the only real way to make it work properly is to have a small management micro in there to monitor the rails and then make sure that there could be no indeterminate situations going on. And if the uh, 20 volt rail, or the, the plus rail, dips down, the drive to the P channel FETs can disappear almost, like half. So they're not fully drive, driven on, driven off. And if the ends come on, yeah, fry the, fry the components. So I was wondering if anyone out there's got a, an amplifier that's plagued with this problem. Uh, I'm thinking about working out a modification actually to, to do this, but you know, they're great speakers but they've just got a couple of little uh, issues which uh, cause problems. And I could engineer a little uh, control board to replace their monitoring circuitry, basically. It needs to replace their monitoring circuitry with a, a new monitor board, which you just patch on with a few wires here and there to control the enable line for these uh, FETs in the LF output stage to allow them to start switching. So, yeah, if anyone's interested, then leave a comment below if I can get enough people that want to stop this happening and make a reliable version because they are great speakers uh, let me know if not i hope you enjoyed this but uh, yeah it's a problem and uh, we can probably sort it but i haven't got time uh, I, they seem to run some are much more susceptible than others to the problem and the one i had earlier in the week was a was very susceptible to it because one of the components was slightly off value so it was a you know a, a cumulative effect or a, of the, the tolerances being out on the components causing it to be particularly susceptible to this problem. So there's this week JBL output transistor count. Um, I just thought you might find that interesting and if you've, if you've got one that's um, playing up or you want to make yours reliable then I could, I'm not talking about a lot of money but it will cost me money to get the boards made and do the engineering but it might be a useful modification. So anyway that's that and I um, hope you find that interesting.